guys, welcome back to another episode of Only Eight Kingdom. This is Bryony Parker here bringing you and Melissa Becomes an Adult. So we're going to start the coming of age ceremony. Get on to what Melissa looks like as an adult. Today you're all adults. First, a word from the representative of the graduates. Catherine? Oh, and there she is. There's my little girl. Uh, Melissa? She's a taught us. Blah, blah, blah. They say their speech. Now, where's my little girl? There. Ah, doesn't show. Oh, well. Do I want to take over? No. Yes, I don't want her to take over my daughter. And let's see what Melissa looks like now as an adult. And this is what she looks like, and she is so pretty. But, of course, before I end, of course, go into this video too far in, I'm going to give her her final look, so I'll get back to you when I put her in a cute outfit. Okay, guys, Melissa's outfit. So she has on the island blue outfit and checkered ribbon yellow, and she's so cute in this. Oh my goodness, I can't think of anything so cute. And of course, we'll get on to eventually when Jeremiah becomes a kid and other stuff before then. So until then. All right, guys, and we are about to see what Jeremiah looks like as a kid. So I'm going to give him one last moment to give him some attention, and then we'll go to the next day and see what Jeremiah looks like. Blah, 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 whatever all this is. And let's see what Jeremiah looks like. Oh my goodness, he's got his dad's mouth. And oh my goodness, those eyes wow jeremiah looks amazing well i'll get back to you when i get his finished look okay guys and this is jeremiah's outfit and it is just so adorable oh my goodness i love it and it's of course what he's wearing is the saffron kids outfit and i come to got the saffron kids outfit due to the event which i luckily got through the i think it was either point or the um ranking rewards yeah the point or the ranking reward so i was lucky to get it and i also have the uh palm cascade yellow hat i don't even know how to i don't even know how to say that word but anyways yeah and of course until elena has her fifth kid all right guys very quickly uh, elena got pregnant again so the baby is due on the 22nd All right, guys, so before I end this video, I just want to show that Melissa now has a boyfriend. His name is Homer Ranchino, and what Homer Ranchino looks like is like this. Once I bring him up, that is Homer Ranchino. So, yes, he is part of our family tree. So, yeah, there's no way, there's literally no way I can, like, any of my family can ignore it. Like, literally almost everyone is... Actually, I think everyone is related to me now So in this. So, yeah. Fun. Anyways, I just wanted to tell a really, really funny story that happened to me yesterday. And then two days or three days before yesterday, I had a funny story happen as well. So, so let's start off with the one that happened yesterday, which was the 24th. So today, when I'm recording, it is the 25th. So, and from any other parts in the beginning of this video, we're done on the 24th, but I forgot to, of course, either do it or was it done on the 23rd I was done doing the recording, so it might have been before it happened. So, either way, from my other previous recordings to this video, I didn't put it in, but now on the 25th, I decided to make it part of my video. So, technically what happened was, is that on the 24th, I was going out and doing my laundry, so... Because of my other job, yes, I have another job besides my what I do on YouTube. I also work another job. But anyways, I am not going to say what kind of job it is, but we're required to wear uniforms. So we have to go out and we have to go and clean our uniforms. So I was just going to the laundromat and everything. I had just finished my washing and I was going to start my drying. And then here was this guy sitting in the laundromat, no mask by the way, and I just realized that he had no mask on as well, and he began, he like, I noticed him first and then he noticed me, and this guy, by the way, is not attractive in any way, so I was just like, okay, what is this guy gonna do? I knew something was up, and then he just began talking to me, 
And then he's saying um, how, like, about the tavern in the town I live in that I was doing my laundry in. Because, yes, I live in the town I was doing my laundry in, obviously. But anyways, and he was talking about it and everything. And then I bring up, like, isn't it not a very good idea to be going to a tavern right now, considering that most cases of COVID, like, positive cases happen from, like, taverns and parties? And he's like, yeah, you're right. But then he just kept going on on and on and on about the, that tavern and then other taverns he's been to and everything and I'm just like dude please be quiet and then I left out of the laundromat but I forgot I need to put in change for the laundromat thing so I was like oh shoot I need to go back to like pay for my stuff so I paid for my stuff to get it, my laundry started then I went back into my car stayed in my car until I like my drying was done and the guy by that point had left already, so... But yeah, one of the strangest cases I have ever had. Oh my goodness. And it seemed like this guy was, like, trying to hit on me too, but the weirdest thing is when he had left, he said, oh, and now I have, just, I have an appointment at the hospital. And at that point, I figured out, oh, well, maybe this guy has, like, a mental condition. And I'm pretty certain that must have been why this guy was acting so strange, so... Pretty certain he had a mental problem. <laughs> and, of course, besides that, two days or three days before that, I was at our, um... It was, like, another place, uh, close to where I lived that has a mall. But anyways, I was going to the mall and everything. Now, this mall, by the way, is not, like, the biggest, but it's not very tiny, but it's a nice mall. So I'm just going, minding my own business, just kind of doing window shopping, just looking around and everything. And... As I was just, like, thinking about almost eventually leaving, after I was done doing what I was doing, I was just enjoying my time, and here's this older guy around his, like, 50s or 60s or something like that, and, like, he's really close to me. And then, like, he, um, I stop in my tracks, because I don't like any guy behind me, no matter what age he's at, because he was right behind me when I was walking to leave the mall, and... Yeah, and he thought I got annoyed that I was in his way or something like that. I stopped because I did not like a guy behind me. I do not like any age guy, well, mostly teenager up, or teens even, behind me alone with no one else. It bugs me to no end, and I should be worried. But yeah, he probably thought I was annoyed that I was in his way when that was really not why I was getting annoyed. The reason I was getting annoyed was he was way too close, or excuse me, he was way too close for comfort. So, yeah, a guy in his 50s or 60s who's way too close to me, he probably doesn't care about being too close, and he doesn't realize what he's doing, and that it's bugging me. And it's bugging me for a reason. I have a reason for it. It's not because of COVID being worried about getting COVID. Oh, no, there's another reason. It's for way worse reasons that I'm worried about a guy being behind me. So, yeah, if you didn't know... Like, in real life, if there's a, like, guy by himself, teen up, following me, looking like, or looking like he's following me, I am, of course, going to be worried. I have a reason to be worried. As, again, I, I don't like it. So, anyways, yeah, that's my two stories I have for this video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that funny little story that happened to me the day or yeah yesterday and then two or three days before that but anyways hope you guys enjoy your day and i will see you guys on the other side